Hey guys, this is YTJ again with the second DVD review and the, this uh, DVD review is going to be on the ECW's The Rise and Fall of ECW. Um, pretty much one of my favorite companies or uh, favorite brand if you want to say, but uh, whether WWE owns ECW back then or not. It's still one of my favorite um, companies or brands or whatever you want to call it. It's a shame that, you know, ECW's gone because, you know, a lot of, I don't think NXT is worth keeping anymore. Um, anyway, but the rise and fall of ECW, pretty much my most favorite rise and fall DVD that I've ever seen. I know, this is the only one that I've seen yet. I've still got to see, like, WCW. But anyway, two discs. I think the best, not only my personal favourite, but it is the best one that I've seen. Two discs. First one being, of course, how great it was back then. You know, all about being extreme. Um, doing whatever you want, saying whatever you want to say, and pretty much entertaining the fans. You know, these people just, you know, guys like Paul Heyman. Raven, Sandman, The Dudley Boys, uh, Sabu, Taz, Mick Foley, um, C.V. Richards with The Blue Meanie, you know, um, and their angle with uh, the BWO, Terry Funk, Stone Cold Steve Austin, RVD, uh, Dawn Marie, uh, you, you know, Rey Mysterio, Psychosis, Mikey Ripwreck, um, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Eddie Guerrero, and Balls Mahoney. There's so many wrestlers that we've seen that have, when, when they're, we, we've seen them for where they are now. RVD, for example. We see him as a former TNA champion, and a former ECW. Before, you know, these were in a small company. These were very small, you know. This is like, in you know, ECW was one of those independent companies, if you want to say. And then they grew to being as big as any Australian company, wrestling company here. Um, overall, I loved it. I loved the DVD Rise and Fall of ECW. Of course, um, Disc 2 had a number of matches on there, like I can read here. You got Pitbull, the Pitbulls uh, versus Raven and Stevie Richards. Psychosis versus Rey Mysterio Jr. Mikey Ripwreck versus the Sandman. Two Cold Scorpio versus Sabu. Sabu. Uh, Tommy Dreamer versus Raven. Taz versus Bam Bam Bigelow and RVD versus Jerry Lynn. Um, so yeah, that's, those are the matches on disc two. Disc one is of course their rise and fall. Um, they talked about a lot about the they 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 did talk a lot about the major wrestlers in ECW, and they had um, pre pretty much some highlights. Why did they talk about the wrestlers? Um, is because, you know, you know, this person made ECW happen, that person made ECW happen, you know, and, you know, superstars did help, um, ECW to become where it was before, you know, as a, the, pretty much the most greatest extreme wrestling chip, most extreme wrestling company ever, and the greatest extreme wrestling company and I think the only one because no one can really copy ECW and what it's done yeah I understand during the uh, PG era and during the HD era if you want to say um, it was it wasn't as extreme as it used to and I would have to admit uh, being a ECW fan I haven't watched ECW during the uh, 
during their extreme era, if you want to say. But, you know, judge, looking at this DVD to compare to the HD ECW, such as, you know, before we shut down, before, you know, it was over, you know, I, I would have to admit, yeah, those, you know, moments that were fantastic. And I do miss the extreme of ECW. Um, and I will be forever will be an ECW fan, whether it is still continue to this day or whether it hasn't. I will still be a fan, whether it's extreme or whether it's PG. I don't care. ECW for life. Um, you know, they talked about a lot of the wrestlers. Um, a number of great matches in there. Especially the my, my personal favourite in this match would have to be the Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Seacosis. That was an awesome match. Also, the two cold, two cold Scorpio versus Sabu. Awesome match. Awesome. Um, so, I give this DVD a 8 out of 10. I loved it. Um, like I said, the best Rise and Fall DVD, in my opinion, ever. In my opinion. Um, pros about this is that the extreme moments that they put on, moments that not even TNN couldn't put, you know, wouldn't allow, you know. Some there were some moments that we all know that they pretty much ECW couldn't do because like in the DVD they talked about it. TNN or I think it was TNN TNN yeah well anyway or TNT channel I'm not too sure one of them two um pretty much just talked about you know how they couldn't do anything we you know they they couldn't do this bit or these bits because of you know, ratings or the genre like PG or whatever, like it's, you know, not their style, you know, we don't want it blood pouring out and everything. Our uh, favourite moments, but yeah, but anyway, favourite moments of uh, the rise and fall of ECW, um, the matches I've said, but the favourite moments, oh, uh, if I can remember this DVD, I've only watched it a couple of days ago, or months, I can't remember. Um... Favorite moments would have to be the well in the first disc. A lot of Tommy Dreamer. I, I like Tommy Dreamer. You know, um, it was that was what he did was awesome. Um, and of of course um, the whole Dudley Boys and what they've done. You know, they're pretty good. But anyway. If you're someone, recommendations, if you're someone that is a ECW fan, this is a DVD for you. If you love extreme, if you love extreme in your wrestling and you haven't heard of ECW, this is your DVD. If you want to look back at the good, tri the good times of ECW, this is your DVD. Um, pros and cons, I, I went through the pros, but not the cons, but the pros were, um, of course, the moments, the fantastic matches, uh, and the cons, I don't think there were really any cons, apart from ECW, well, A, for one, ECW being over, you know, with now, this is now, though, not related to the DVD, well, it's got related to the DVD, but pros is that, you know, of course, these they had fantastic moments, but the cons is that yeah, well they're over. When there's no more ECW, and these are the only D and you know these DVDs and more are the only uh, memories, if you want to say, that we have of ECW. Is this DVD? You know, I keep saying that if you well in my previous video, the Oh My God DVD. Uh, I said if you fit the recommendations. Yet yeah, this is majority of the DVDs are there. If you buy this, it, it only depends if you fit the recommendations. But this is worth buying. I mean it. This is one of the things that is worth buying. I enjoyed it very much, and that's why it received around about an eight. Yeah, around about an eight out of uh, ten for six hours. Awesome, loved it. 
So anyway, YTJ uh, Fan94 with the Rise and Fall of ECW DVD review. And guys, I want to thank you for the um, Oh My God views. Like I had over, I checked this morning and I had over 200 reviews. I was like, whoa. But I hope you guys enjoyed not only that review, but also this one. Um, and also, one more thing as well. I'm not someone that likes to tell you guys to rate, comment, subscribe. But, you know, please. I, 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 I do want to see that. I, I want to hear your comments. Uh, your, your positive comments towards uh, the DVD review or to my channel. Whatever. I want to I I hear what people have to say. So anyway, guys, the rise and fall of ECW worth getting. Um, this will, this memories are uh, will pretty much be the last memories of ECW. And as we all know it, Extreme Championship Wrestling will be forever extreme. See you guys later.